Hi everyone, it's Pinky. Today I'm coming um, with a quick video to follow up on my post, my blog post on the gable box. Um, this is the gable box that I made. And so it's kind of hard to see if I try to stand it up, but this is the gable box that I made. And what I wanted to do uh, was to show the measurements for it and then um, so that you would be able to make one yourself. So anyway, what, how we're going to start this, and I have um, my scoreboard here. Uh, this is the Simply Scored. And I also have a piece of very vanilla um, cardstock. And so um, let's get started. Okay, so we're going to take one sheet of eight and a half by eleven paper. We're going to put it in the scoreboard. Um, if you have the Martha Stewart scoreboard, you can do this too. Um, we're going to put it into our scoreboard, and we're going to score first at um, what at a half of an inch. Hopefully, you can see this. Scoring at half an inch. Then we're going to go and we're going to score at three and a half. And make sure that your paper's in here the long way. Um, it should be the 11 inch side to the top. And then we're going to score at 5 and 3 quarter. And then we're going to score our last score on this side is going to be 8 and 3 quarters. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to turn the paper over. I'm um, not over, but we're going to turn it in this direction where now the eight and a half is up in the top corner. Okay? And then we're going to score at three inches. And we're going to score at six and a half inches. Okay? All right, so since we have the scoring done, we're going to take this out and I'm going to put it on pause and I'll be right back. Okay, so we've done all our scoring. So what we need to do now is we need to make sure that we have um, we have this the right side up. Okay, we're going to this, we're going to lay it this way. And this way is with the, the half an inch score on your right side. It's important, uh, it was important to me to get that because um, I had no clue what I was doing. And so um, just make sure that you have this on the right hand side. Okay, let's try this. All right. Now that we have all this, all this um, cut, which you're gonna, what you're gonna do is you're gonna cut all of your score lines that you made, your um, three and a half inch, five and three quarter, and your eight and three quarter. You're gonna cut on every single one of those lines, all the way up to your score line, which was your three inch and your six and a half inch. So make sure you just cut on every single line, going across. Okay except for when you get down here to where your one and a half inch I mean I'm sorry your half inch score line is you're gonna cut that all the way off okay so I didn't cut that part off and show you where I'm at cut those parts off so this is what you should have this is what it should look like it should look like your eight and a half by eleven piece of paper but then you have this this little tab here on the outside that is still scored okay so what we're going to do is you're going to take your sticky tape which is like this take your sticky tape and you're going to tape this you're going to tape the side and this is going to be the side where you scored on so when you were scoring and you made the indentation this is the side that's up okay so it should look like it's been depressed here so you put your sticky tape there flip it over Okay, flip it over and you still want to have this, this little indentation here on your right hand side. Keep it on your right hand side so you know which direction to go. 
Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to score, we're, um, score, I'm sorry, we're going to tape, um, put your sticky tape on the squares that are wider, which would have been your three, between your three and a half and your five and three quarter, and your five and three quarter and eight and three quarter um, scores. So you're going to put sticky tape here, st sticky tape here. And then you're going to flip it on the other side because this is this is actually going to be your bottom. You're going to flip it upside down, and then you're going to see that these are narrow. These narrow ones we're going to take off, take off the sticky strip, and then we're just going to fold them onto themselves. And the reason why this was done was to give your gable box a little bit more. Um, support. Okay, so you fold them right on top of yourself. Okay, and now at this point, if you want your gable box with rounded corners, which is, see here, rounded corners, this is what you do, because you'll have your, your box will look like this right now, okay? So what you do is you take your corner rounder, and you round your corners. Okay. Okay. Round your corners. And then you're going to take the rest of your box and you start folding on all of the score lines. Now these these um, sticky strips that you have left are the ones that we're going to use. And this is how you know which way to fold your box, which is inside, is if you're laying it flat, you need to go this way, and your sticky strip should be right here on the side. And actually, we can take that one off because that's the, well, let's score first. Let's score first, or fold it, rather. Fold on all of our score lines. all the way through, all the way to the other side. Okay, so now we have those four. Now we are to take this sticky strip off. Okay, and then we are going to put it together here. Line it up, put it together. And then we do the bottom. Take the sticky strips off of, off of the bottom of your box. You can do the two bottom first. Hopefully you can see that. Do these two. Put that bottom on. And then you kind of run your hand on the inside. And then take these sticky strips off that were on the other side. And then you close the bottom of your box. Again, you can run your handle on the inside. Okay, so now what you have is the shape of your gable box. I'm going to leave that right there for a second, and I'm going to get my oval punch. Okay, and you have your oval punch, and what you want to do is on each side, you want to come in about, oh, about a half an inch or so, and you want to line it up. I try to line mine up as evenly as possible, and then you punch out. Turn it over to the other side, do exactly the same thing. Well, you can see that. Make sure it's straight. Okay, whoopsie. Move those out of the way. Okay, and there you go. There's your gable box. And it's going to come out to look like this when you decorate it. But that's it. That's how you make your gable box. Hope everybody can see that. <laughs> and there it is. And this is the one that you'll have and you can decorate real pretty. Well, I hope everybody learned a little something. Um, and I'd love to see what it is that you come up with um, after you're finished.
But thank you um, for joining me today for this video. And um, as always, I appreciate it. Thanks. Thanks for stopping by. Bye.